Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're looking at the 1st to the 7th of August 2022 and the reading won't be for everyone so just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what we have for the week for you. Okay, overarching energy, we've got the Tower. The Five of Swords, Temperance, the Nine of Cups, the Star, we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the Hanged Man. Okay, let's see what this tower is. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for Aries. Okay, so I have temperance again. Let's get one more card with that, please. Thank you. Yeah, the five of swords. This is something, I mean, the tower can be it is Mars energy, and Mars is your ruler, so it's something that you are probably capable of dealing with here Aries probably more than any other sign uh, towers can be about change significant change uh, can be to do with revelation uh, it can be a tearing down of the old where all of a sudden there can be sudden change um, something comes in and shakes things up raises that tower to the ground but it's all part of your evolution and change sometimes we can be conduits of that as well we can be you know the people who catalyst uh, apart, who influence the catalyst for change too so this feels like an energy of something changing or something happening here but the star comes after the tower in the major arcana so this is where things have been shaken down where things have been you've been going through change and i feel this tower has already been ongoing here there's patience that's needed because there's going to be victory this is an energy of you're going to win, you're going to claim a victory, you're going to claim a success here. Um, but patience is needed, everything in moderation. This week, it feels for seven days you're just being told wait a bit longer. But victory is yours. You win. Because this is certainly an energy where you're being told with that tower energy something has been shaken to the core i mean that could be anything from your money career finances it feels for some of you it could be money related because there's a feeling of new stability coming your way and there's hope the the star is a card of blessings and wish fulfillment but sometimes we just have to have hope and faith even lean in our spiritual faith in times of uncertainty and doubt because this is where you don't know you just don't know right now but spirit is telling you you've got every reason to be hopeful you will claim a victory over whatever this tower has meant for you for some of you it could be um uh, for some of you you could have been dealing with change in your money career financial areas and taking secret steps to protect yourself in some way claim a win over whatever this tower has meant for you so i mean that could be anything from like uh, a company you know announcing it could be you know there's changes significant changes in your employment um restructuring going on merging going on you know i mean whatever this is this tower it feels some level of patience is needed this week but 
Victory is here. You're going to win. This is somebody who wants to win, but they, they're hopeful, but they just don't know. So clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. There's a feeling here again with the Pentacles energy. Somebody who you've been taking secret steps and you might be waiting on an answer. Uh, this could be to do with money. So again, Two of Pentacles can be where you've had to adapt, where you've had to respond to a situation, that tower moment. And it feels like you, you're waiting on some kind of answer or communication coming in, but you've been doing something quietly or taking, taking steps or having a hidden agenda here because circumstances have demanded that. And there's a feeling of patience is needed. Everything in moderation. Things aren't moving as quickly as you want them to move, but it doesn't mean that they're not moving. This is an energy of patience in all things. And again, this hanged man is things have to play out for a bit longer. Somebody is waiting. There's just a feeling of waiting. Waiting for something to come in. It feels like you're waiting for a decision here, Aries, on which way things are going to go. Now, for some of you, if it's not you taking secret steps, you could also be waiting for a decision on somebody who has been deceptive on some level. So somebody who has been hidden things from you, if that's to do with money matters and there's revelation to do with that, um, this it might be waiting for some kind of decision. So it could be legal of that nature as well. But again, patience in everything. It does feel, however, the energy of the King of Pentacles is financial stability, financial success and abundance again, uh, with the Nine of Cups getting what you want. So it certainly feels in this energy here, Aries, as an energy with the King of Pentacles, if this is you, this is you feeling abundant, this is you manifesting money, this is you feeling um, successful, stable again, secure again in terms of money, career, finances, finding that solid footing again because you're getting what you want, the Nine of Cups. So this could well be hearing back or waiting to hear back in terms of money, career, finances in some way that could be job opportunities, that could be um, could be a number of things. The King of Pentacles as a person can be somebody who holds an opportunity. So if you're meeting a leader in business, this can be somebody who can offer an opportunity that can bring stability back into your life in some way. For some of you, this could well be to do with it can be to do with an investor of some kind as well. Uh, offering you kind of like um, a cash injection or a sum of money. Also very good in terms of um, getting the go-ahead in terms of bank loans, mortgages, you know, that kind of thing. The Nine of Cups is you getting your wish. Uh, it's certainly an energy of happiness and joy and celebration, you getting your wish. So however that manifests for you here, Aries, it does feel for some of you there's a bit more waiting to do. Uh, but there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic that this is going to come to fruition. The steps that you have been taking are going to pay off. There's a feeling of winning here. Success. So what's the hanged man waiting for? Let's clarify. What's coming to Aries? I mean, I, there's clear energy of you're going to get your wish here. You're going to get what you want. Their celebration associated with that, but let's clarify the hanged man. What specifically is the hanged man waiting for, please, for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune, maybe for your luck to t change. Um, things turn in your, you know, this can be about things, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, fortuitous set of circumstances. It can be about events unfolding, divine timing and orchestration. Uh, in the universe is time, not your time. So there's more waiting to do because 
this is your good fortune is coming your way. The wheel is, you know, always turning in your favor, though it doesn't always feel like that. So there's a strong energy here of, of good fortune, good luck. Spirit has your back, bringing positive things into your life. Very good in terms of money, career, finances. Uh, the wheel of fortune can be linked with windfalls, can be linked with, again, opportunity, people coming into your life that brings good fortune of some kind, catching a lucky break. But it, it feels in this energy here, Aries, if you've been competing for something, the cards are saying be patient, but there's a win here. And again, if there has been conflict where you've wanted to win in a situation because somebody has been subversive about money, this is the energy of getting what you want. There's success here as well. So lovely energy all around, but patience for the next seven days, I feel. Things are unfolding in divine timing and orchestration, but it doesn't mean that nothing's happening. The universe is it's pretty influential in this reading with the Hanged Man and the Wheel of Fortune. So feels like good fortune is coming in some form for you. Let's pull a final card, final message for Aries. Final message for Aries, thank you. Final message for Aries. Yeah, <laughs> we have field mouse success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. That's what I have for the week, Aries. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.